guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the managing director here at Cinema Blend, and we're super excited because the original cast of the Justice League is finally on board with the release the Snyder Cut movement. That probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you, so I'm going to explain what everything I just said means. But before we do that, go down and hit subscribe, turn on your notifications every time we post a new video like this on Cinema Blend's YouTube page, you guys will be the first ones to hear about it. So if you were paying attention on social media on Sunday, November 17th, you might have noticed that there was a wave of support for something called hashtag release the Snyder Cut. According to Legends, there is a longer version of Justice League out there, and it's called the Snyder Cut. It's the version that Zack Snyder wanted to put out in theaters before he was asked to leave the project. He left it for personal reasons, and then Joss Whedon came in and finished the project for him, but the theatrical cut turned out pretty terrible by DC fan standards. That's rude. And they have believed that a much longer and better version called the Snyder Cut now exists. It was a vocal fan base that's been pushing on social media for the past two years to get this version released somehow and finally on Sunday November 17th Ben Affleck and Gal Gadot voiced their support for the release the Snyder Cut movement proving that they also want to see this version that never made it to theaters but could make it out in some form now. To get the original Batman and to get the current Wonder Woman uh, behind the support of this release the Snyder Cut family was really important to what they were trying to do on Sunday. Uh, they also have heard over the past couple of days from Jason Momoa and Ray Fisher and other members of the league. So what was so important about Sunday? Well, the people behind the movement wanted to celebrate the two-year anniversary of the release of the theatrical cut, which is November 17th. And they wanted to make sure that they had a spike in awareness for the hashtag on social media. And at first they wanted to reach 214 thousand uh, tweets on social media because the Snyder Cut is uh, supposedly 214 minutes long. Well, they went way past that, and once they doubled the 214 number that they were setting on Sunday, they aimed for 500,000 tweets. And actually, they blew past that, too. I think the final number that they ended up with on Sunday, November 17th, was closer to 900,000 tweets showing the amount of support that they were getting online uh, for not just the fans, but for uh, celebrities and outside of the Justice League movement. People like Rob Liefeld, uh, Deadpool's creator. People like Kevin Smith. Uh, other filmmakers uh, like David Ayer, who directed Suicide Squad, who were all tweeting in support of Zack Snyder, in support of this movement, and in support of finally seeing the Snyder Cut. Great, so Sunday was a huge success. But what happens now? The release of Snyder Cut movement is hoping for some sort of announcement from Warner Brothers, but the initial word uh, from The Hollywood Reporter is that the studio has no imminent plans to release a cut. And I don't really know how they would do it anyway. It doesn't feel like something that would come out theatrically uh, because it would disrupt the flow of what DC and Warner Brothers are trying to do right now. They have a Birds of Prey movie that's coming to theaters in February that's centered around a Harley Quinn character played by Margot Robbie. Uh, they have an Aquaman sequel and a Wonder Woman sequel in development. Uh, they would like to get into uh, the Batman franchise once again with Matt Reeves now directing and Robert Pattinson going. So the vision that Zack was trying to create through his Justice League franchise has been uh, diminished and they're going in a different direction. However, there are plenty of opportunities for Warner Brothers to still put out this Snyder Cut version of Justice League and make those fans very happy. HBO Max is coming to the uh, top of the conversation pile as the natural place for this to go to because as all these streaming services begin to launch, they all need um, dangling carrots to put out in front of potential subscribers. Obviously, you see uh, Disney Plus is using The Mandalorian as a reason for you to go over there and check them out. Netflix is always putting out a new original original series or some such old sitcom that they're able to get the rights to. HBO Max has some really interesting content, but if they were able to say that they were the home of the Snyder Cut of Justice League, I think they would pick up thousands of subscribers that would come over and check them out. Or there's the possibility that Warner Brothers could just put out a DVD or Blu-ray copy of the uh, Snyder Cut of Justice League, and for fans who wanted to potentially own it and put it on their shelves behind them, uh, they would have the ability to do that. But all of these things are potentially being worked out right now. I know no knowledge about any sort of plans from the studios, but it feels like they're leaving money on the table if they were to just continue to ignore the existence of the Justice League uh, cut that Zack Snyder wanted to work on, because Snyder keeps saying repeatedly on his uh, Vero social media account, and his uh, Twitter feeds and the social media accounts of other people who know him that he's screened a copy of this Snyder Cut of Justice League for them. Jason Momoa, the original Aquaman, has said that he's seen the version and that it's sick. In an interview with MTV just a few days ago, he told them that Zack has actually finished most of the special effects on his own in the two-year interim and that the cut is just about finished, like it's something you can watch right now. And then one tweet that came out on Sunday came from Dave Bautista, who's currently working on Army of the Dead 
Dead with Zack Snyder for Netflix, and he also said, Hey, I'm not saying that I saw it, but if I did see it, I think you guys would really like it, release the Snyder Cut. Which means, read between the lines, he's absolutely seen it and this cut exists. It was beautiful. So now it's up to Warner Brothers. They need to kind of decide, do they really want to get this out here? I mean, it would be admitting that, uh, you know, removing Zack from the movie was a mistake, but people have gotten over this before. We've most recently have seen James Gunn fired from the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise and then put back. We heard Sony and Marvel announce that they're not going to share Spider-Man anymore. And then they came to an agreement and decided they were going to work things out again. Warner Brothers could very easily say, look, we parted ways with Zack Snyder back in the day, but we know that this fan base really wants to see what he was doing with Justice League, so here you go. Here's his version of the Snyder Cut. It's on HBO Max. Knock yourselves out. Watch it 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you want to. No plans have been announced just yet, and we're not hearing anything imminent from Warner Brothers, but I think it's hard for them to ignore the noise that was made on social media on Sunday. So that's where we are with the Release the Snyder Cut movement, and it's time for you guys to join us. Help us get the word out. Let's see Zack Snyder's vision for Justice League in some way, shape, or form, even if it's roughly finished, even if it's on DVD. It doesn't need to be in theaters. It can be on HBO Max. We just want to see it. And if you guys want to join us, go down to the comment section, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, use hashtag release the Snyder Cut, or while you're down there in the comment section, you can tell us that we're crazy tinfoil hat wearing lunatics uh, who are beating the drum for something that will never happen. I think that's fair too. Why not? This is a debate. It's a conversation that we're having online. That's what people do on the internet, right? They throw out ideas, they knock down ideas, they support other ideas. That's what we're here for.